of my 30 day core strength challenge. Okay, so these are all gonna be Pilates inspired exercises. They're gonna be a flow and a system to them. Um, but the goal of this and my intention for you is to build your core strength over the next 30 days. I want you to be able to have a little bit more control in your body, to understand and have more awareness in your body so that your everyday movement becomes much more efficient and fluid and primal, um, the way that we're supposed to move so that you can feel really healthy and vital. So the first couple of weeks, we're going to focus on foundation. I'm going to give you the foundational skills that you need in order to really be efficient in your movement. And then the final weeks, we're going to get a little bit more mobile and primal and really just flow into the exercises so that you really, really do feel energized and amazing after each of these workouts. They're only 10 minutes. That's all you need. No props necessarily. <laughs> necessarily. No props necessarily. <laughs> Oh my gosh, no props necessary. Um, but there is gonna be a progression. So you wanna make sure that you do start from day one and that you progress through each of these workouts. So my name's Gretchen and I teach Pilates inspired workouts online. So if you never wanna miss a workout, especially this 30 day challenge, hit that subscribe button as well as the bell next to it to get notified whenever the next workout is here. They should be posted about 12.30 Eastern Standard Time every single day. And be sure to stick around to the end because I got a little freebie for you to help you with this 30 day progression. All right, so let's get started. We are gonna start seated today, okay? So just right on top of those sitting bones and then get yourself nice and tall, roll those shoulders back, okay? And then I just want you to feel yourself. Like how tall can you get when you're on your sitting bones? Most of us sit like this, right? So let's really lift tall and really find that space in between our vertebrae. All right, now holding your shins, I just want you to sort of pull your waistband back. But try not to let the shoulders go with you. Just sort of pull back your tailbone tucks, and then we'll take it right back up as tall as you can. Again, pull the waistband back. Keep your hands where they are. They don't move at all. And then come back up. Okay? Keep doing that. You're teaching your body how to guide back with the abs. And then come up. Two more waistband and then because the waistband is going maybe your spine goes a little too one more time inhale and exhale good all right so now we're going to make our way to a lying down position so take right underneath those thighs and i want you to walk down bone by bone walk down your thighs until you're all the way to a lying down position all right, so now I want you to find yourself lying down. Notice, hey, are you tilting one way? Is your back overly arched? Are you tucking? Kind of just scan your body, see how you feel. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up one leg and try not to tilt. And then lower it down and take another leg. So we're inhaling, lifting, exhale, lower. So can we keep our pelvis stable as we move our legs? But everything else has energy. All right, we're not just moving the legs, we're learning how to engage the body in stability as we move at the hip. Take it as slow or fast as you want, and then we're going to try it at a tabletop pose if you'd like. Notice, hey, did your back lift? Hmm, maybe keep it a little bit more engaged, and then we tap here. Don't want those shoulders to tense, we want to really soften that tension. Try to make the movement happen easily. Good, and then squeeze those thighs together. Take your arms out like a small little V and we'll take our knees over to one side, let your pelvis move, come to center, and then inhale the other way. Exhale, pull back. So now we're working the side of the waist without letting the shoulders move, so we stabilize the shoulders. Keep the knees one on top of the other. Try not to push a hip forward. Really try to keep those knees stacked. And then come to center, drop them down. Pull the heels close to your seat with your arms down. We're gonna roll our hips up. Push your knees beyond your toes, and then we roll it down. And 
and inhale up, squeeze your seat, pubic bone up to the sky, and then soften the chest, the heart goes first, and then down through each bone. Three more, inhale, hip square, exhale. One more. So it's more of a reach of the thighs than a lift. And then as you lower, you're reaching your thighs. And then from here, lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Notice, did you tuck the pelvis? Don't let it tuck and roll up. So when we tuck, if we tuck and lift at the same time, all you're doing is crunching everything in. In Pilates, everything is about length. So really reach out of the crown of your head as you flex up. You're guiding your chin towards your belly button as you look at the tops of your thighs. Try that one more time, we're gonna stay up. So a lot of people have neck tension when they come up. And that means maybe that the abs aren't as strong enough yet. You can lower back down and come back up when you're ready. Or maybe try to come up a little bit higher. That sometimes releases it. Hold there. Now we're gonna reach the arms up towards the sky. We're gonna bring them back down. We're gonna lift them up and bring them down one more time. Is there neck tension? Then drop your head and lower down. Good, so now we're gonna take our legs up, squeeze them together, and then bring them so the knees are a little bit over the hips. We're gonna flex up. And now I want you to pump those arms up and down. We're gonna take an inhale and an exhale. And again, if you're unsure of how to do this 100, I recommend getting my cheat sheet to learn how to properly do this so I don't waste time in the video. Inhale, and exhale, pull in the chin towards the belly button. Inhale, and exhale, squeeze your thighs. Breathe it in, breathe it out. And if you want to elongate those legs and you're ready to, you can. Two more breaths, in and out. One more breath, in and out. Hug it in, stretch your legs long, reaching the arms behind you. Now stay right here and really ground your shoulders and your ribs and the back of your pelvis. If you reach too far, what happens is you lose everything. You lose here. So pull everything in and feel it all pull into the center of your body. Once you feel stable, take a nice inhale. Start to pull the chin to the chest. Now notice that's the position you were just in. But now we're going to continue on as we lift up. Stretch for your toes and roll it back. Notice this is like the first exercise. We pull back with the waistband first, the rest of the spine follows. So find a few more, and you wanna find sort of your own little rhythm. Waistband pulls you back, like I punched you in the stomach almost. Notice what the shoulders are doing. We don't wanna yank on those. We want it to come from the belly. We'll do about two more of these. We're going to end in a lying down position. And then pull your knees in towards your chest. So from here, lift up your head, neck, and shoulders and stretch one leg long and pull the other leg in. Take hand by ankle, other hand by knee. And then we switch it. So your outside hand goes to the outside of the ankle. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Five. Four, three, two, one, hug it in and bring it down for a little breather. So now we're going to do the double version, but I want to do the legs first. So we're going to take our legs up, squeeze them together, and all you're going to do is stretch your legs up towards the ceiling and bend them back in. Now as you stretch them up, I want you to pull your tummy deep into the floor and stretch up and pull in. And if you've sort of feel like you have this, you can stretch up and then lower down a little, and now you're going to there. So pull in, reach on a diagonal. Notice if your ribs are starting to pop up, then just keep them up towards the ceiling more. Really keep everything pulling in, and if you'd like to lift the upper body with it, you can. And you can reach the arms and legs away at the same time if you'd like. 
Try three more. Three. The center is your belly pulling in. Again, if you want to learn more, get my cheat sheet. <laughs> and then pull it in. Roll yourself up to a seated position. Take your legs into a V. Get yourself up nice and tall, just like we did in the beginning. Stretch your arms and legs and sit up as tall as you can. Take an inhale here. Exhale, dive forward. As you pull your waistband back, we roll it and stack it. Inhale to prepare. Lift out of the waist. Exhale, pull the waist back as you stretch forward. And then we come up. And we'll do that one more time. And up. And lower down. Good. Let's just crisscross those legs. Get a little side bend in. Stretch it up and over. Try not to let your sitting bones lift. We want to really reach with the spine. And then up and over the other way. Good. And then come to center. Take your hands on your shins. Scoop your belly back. Feel that stretch. And then we'll come up and open the chest. Ah, come to center. Now we'll side stretch the other way first. Up and over the other way. <laughs> awesome job. Take your hands on your shins. Scoop it back. We're going to end in our extension. So just open it up. Oh, and loveliness. Come to center, take a nice deep inhale here, reaching those arms up, and then exhale at center. Really good job. 10 minutes, that's all you need. Now we're gonna continue on for 30 days and we're gonna build on this. So by the end of the 30 days, you are going to be moving and grooving. So again, grab that checklist if you want to really work on those foundational moves. And I will see you tomorrow with another workout.